Hey guys, welcome back to my wedding week series. Excuse my face, I just went and put lipstick on for a little bit of color, but I am not wearing any makeup. It has been a long week. Um, but I am doing a post on my blog, and then I will also be doing this video to add a little bit more detail, and also for those of you that would prefer to watch a video than read, um, I still want you guys to have this um, information readily available to you. So, um, this wedding week video is going to be about all of my notebooks, my binders, and my folders, everything that I've had to keep organized um, as far as like planners and um, literally anything that you wrote down or typed out on a piece of paper. That is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be showing you literally everything that is in the the things that I use to organize my wedding. Okay, so the first book that I have is um, this, it says Future Mrs. Notes. It is, it says Planning Your Happily Ever After. It is a notebook that I got in one of my Miss to Mrs. boxes. And then the second thing that we're going to be going over is this um, purple sparkly um, uh, folder. I actually have one of these for um, not every single person, but I have one for me. I have one for um, my future mother in law. I have one for my sister, who is my maid of honor, and one for my. Um, I'm not gonna, she's like part of, she's like part, partly my wedding day coordinator, my sister, my cousin, and this other girl, um, her son is a ring bearer my wedding day, um, are all considered my wedding day coordinators. They're each going to be doing something different to help make sure that they go smoothly, smoothly, but they're each going to have a folder so they know about everything that's going on that day, um, and I'll get into that in a second once we open up the binder and then the next thing is the most important thing that has most of the information if not pretty much all of it um in more like detail like just organized is my wedding um planning binder I was about to say folder binder I got this I literally was like running late to my um meeting with my photographer it was the first meeting I was having with my photographer in September of last year September 2019 it was literally I think three weeks after Brandon and I got engaged it was like the third week of September and I was going to meet my photographer I stopped at the Grove Town Walmart and I got this folder I mean this binder because the binder that I had I it wasn't I don't know I just wanted something that screamed like girly and wedding and I didn't want some plain folder I wanted something that was pretty um so I stopped and I got this and I went and met my photographer and that was like the first thing that I had used this binder for um yeah, so those are the three things that we're going to cover. I'm going to try and not make this video be too long, but that is what that is what we are going to be covering. So let's just jump in. The cover is the Future Mrs. Notebook. Um, I really hope this video quality is good. I don't have a camera or a tripod or anything, so I'm using my cell phone to video all of this. Um, but this is the first page. Ignore this. Um, it says our weddings, October 15, 2020, and then our names. And then the, I got this notebook in one of my Miss to Mrs. boxes and I literally got it like um, the same month that I was going to meet with my, um, with my uh, flower vendor in February. So I got this box in February and I, this, so obviously the first thing I used it for was for my um, floral meeting at, for my florist. So that's of course what the first page has is, was all about my florist. And then the next thing piece that we covered was our wedding cake. So we have information for our wedding cake testers. These are just phone numbers and stuff for places that are here in Augusta where we live for places that we wanted to go. Of course, these two places we put a no by and then Delightful Bites Cakery is the place that we actually wound up going with um, as far as our, the place that we're going to go get our cake, um, our Grinsman cake and our um, actual wedding cake. And then this is just the price that we paid and all that stuff. And then I crossed that out, ignore that. And then this is the card of the person that was helping me, my receipt. And then this is just gives you information of what cake I chose like the look of it and what kind we're having. I'm not going to stay on the page that y'all can read, but I'm just showing you how I use this notebook. Um, and then this, I use my wedding hashtag ideas, which was you're going to use. And of course, right here is the one that we decided on. Time of a lifetime, 2020. I had a vote going on, which we did. And then the next, um, I have some measurements here that I needed for um, what I was going to be using as far as, you know, my mirror and my backdrop because I needed those measurements so I knew what the decal was going to be and then I needed to know um, how big the 
the place where we're gonna hang this up was so it wouldn't be too short and then of course I house some of my bridal shower ideas also in this book this was when I was first starting to plan it and um, so I didn't really I knew exactly what I wanted but this is when I was starting to get all of my ideas down on paper um, and then it moves on to some more information about that and then um, I filled out my photographer wedding questionnaire here like I have in this binder over here I have that questionnaire the paper and I didn't want to write on the paper because I didn't have a copy of it and I didn't want to mess it up especially if I needed to change something or cross it out and I wanted space to explain what I wanted so I just went down the line like use the questions um, with the paper sitting here and then I just answer them and number them um, as to where what they would be um, so there's all of my answers and stuff right here all right, and then also one of the questions was the timeline, and I kind of just did it here. This is the gist of the timeline. It's not the set one, but it's the one that I had, um, me and my, when I was on the phone with my wedding photographer, this is the one that I wrote out that we had. It's not the updated, complete um, one. It's just one that I jotted down while we were on the phone together, um, just so we would get an idea of what we were going to do, and some things are out of order and stuff, because we were doing it as we were talking on the phone. Um, and then I have my family photo list names, the people that we want to take photos with on our wedding day that we want to have. Um, and then some more names here. All right, and then this is my um, call that I had with my florist later on down the line just to do updates and to make sure everything was paid for and I needed to add certain, add a few things to the list um, because I decided to go with the, with the certain centerpieces and I need some, I needed bouquets for that as well and we added a garland piece um, to where the pergola is where we're getting married all right and then this is, of course is the meeting that I had with my DJ um, on in May it was the second meeting we had after we booked him we went ahead and paid him off and then um, we figured out more of the timeline this is just a couple notes that I jotted down but he sent me a huge thing through my email that was literally the timeline of the music the announcements how everything's gonna go and I filled that out and send that back to him and then I'll send him my music list about a week out from the day, which when you're watching this video it will be. <laughs> All right, and then I have my bridal shower grocery list. This is when it was getting down to the wire and my bridal shower was right around the corner in August. So I'd written this out. Um, and then that's a recipe for something that I really wanted to make that one of my coworkers made a few years ago and I absolutely fell in love with. And I like make it for myself now because I really love it. And I wanted to share that with my friends and family that came to my bridal shower. All right, and then this is the bridal shower schedule that we had. This page is torn out because my sister was my coordinator, of course, for the day. So she had um, this. Uh, so she tore this out so she could write um, down um, who gave me what and stuff like that so I could send out the thank you cards. And then I have my bridesmaids gifts here, what I got them, what I handed out to them at my bridal shower. This is just, I wrote these down for the things that I wanted to get them and then ordered them so I didn't forget. And then I have my wedding wedding checklist here. I also have the same thing inside my binder, but it's but it's typed up and it's not it's not as it's way more formal than this. This was just an easier way to um, like instead of carrying around my binder, I was able to carry on this small book, which also have pretty much the same information that my binder does, but the binder is more organized. This is just all handwritten and things that I just jotted down when I needed to in the moment. Um, so this is the wedding the wedding checklist, and I did this on August 2nd, 2020. Um, and this is just everything that I had before. Like I checked off the things that I had already had that I ordered and was good to go. Um, and this was just, because I really needed this because I'm a visual person, and having all this stuff checked off and seeing everything, writing everything down that I knew that I had or needed, I checked it off, and the things that I didn't have checked off, I knew that I needed to get done. Like the flowers for the wedding cake, it wasn't done. Well, it's still not checked off because it's still not done while I'm filming this, but as of you seeing it, it is done because we don't give our flowers for the wedding cake to our, um, to our wedding cake people. I, my brain is like not working at the moment. Um, a week out before the wedding. Um, so they, cause they have to put the flowers on, you know, after they bake the cake, cause they're going to do that for us. So we're not having to do that. And this is some more of the checklist. These are just things that I had already had. A couple things that aren't checked off are things that I hadn't done yet, but I had them. And then on this, uh, this side was things that I still need to get that I had not ordered or I didn't have. And the things that are checked off now are the things that I'd already gotten that I got after I wrote this list. 
Um, and as you can see, I pretty much got everything. This window pane for the bridal party, like I don't, I need to cross it out, but I don't, I decided not to go with this because for reasons I'm not gonna just get into that in this video because it's not for that, but I didn't want, I wound up not needing this. Um, we wound up, we already got that and I still need to get, well, I still need to get them as of this video is being recorded, but not when you see it. But yeah, so these are just things that I needed to finish getting. And some of these things like this, firefighter boots for the beginning of the aisle, we don't need that until the day of. So it's something that I can't check off. But I just need to have it written down so that way I'm prepared and I know and I don't forget something. Um, and then that is literally it. That is all that I have in this notebook so far. I, oh, back here. What do I have back here? Oh, because I had written this out at work and then I transferred it into the notebook. But yeah, so that is everything that is in this notebook. Um, this notebook notebook was mainly for... Um... Alright, so yeah, so this future Mrs. Notebook was mainly used for meetings when I had meetings with my vendor. So I could just, like I had a phone conversation with them or I went to go meet them. I literally just brought this small notebook so I didn't have to carry my huge binder with paper in it and I would write everything down in my own handwriting and just jot down the notes that I needed or the things that we went over so I knew um, exactly what I needed to put in my notebook later. And then I would go back and type it up or I would um, handwrite it again but nicer and on a nicer piece of paper um, and put it in the binder because the binder is for the, the main pieces it's really organized it's all in order and then this is just for it's, it's to have so I can carry it around and it was just to it's the more informal type of planning that I had um, so I used this one for that and it came in really handy so I suggest even if you don't have a bridal subscription you go somewhere and you get a small notebook that you just use um, for that that purpose because it will save your life and it will help you keep organized so that way you're not scrambling to make sure that your handwriting is perfect or to make sure that the page is organized or write in pencil so you can erase it or whatnot so this is just a way that you can have that and it's nice to keep it and look in the future and you look at all the things that you had planned and you saw things scratched out so you can literally see your planning coming to life and that's what this notebook was for so we're gonna move on to the next item now this next item is my wedding folder binder I actually made this recently I believe last month and I added the papers into it that I needed again these are the the um, folders that I gave it to a bunch of people they all have the same exact thing in it I also have an emergency one so I have one for me and the two coordinators and um, my almost mother-in-law and then I have an emergency one that is actually currently housed in here to have just in case someone loses their folder or someone has a question they can reference that um, emergency one because not everyone's gonna have it but I have an extra one just in case we wind up needing it so when we open this up this is literally everything is typed out it is the final finished product not I'm not gonna say final and finished because there's certain things that I did decide to add to my setup like certain things that aren't on the list I did decide to add which I have informed the people that are you know setting it up they know that I added stuff that isn't on the list and they wrote it hand wrote it in on their paper um, so they have it but I did add stuff now I didn't add it to mine but they know so the first thing I have on my right side I have the bridal party lineup this is um, because everyone needs to know who's lining up with who and where they're going um, and actually this is subject this is actually not the finished one it actually is changed because we had um, someone drop out of the bridal party someone is no longer in it so we do we did have to change this everyone knows that it is changed and everyone knows who they are supposed to be with so don't mind that but I didn't want to I didn't want to change mine because I already knew but anyway so I have my bridal party lineup here um, it's who goes with who it's um, the the start time of course this is it starts from the top to the bottom so the people that goes in first and then the um, bridesmaids and the groomsmen and then we have the ring bearer that comes in and this is literally like what he's supposed to do and who he comes in with and the flower girls go um, and then and I even have a time right here and then it's me and my dad and then this is for uh, my um, the person who marries us excuse me she um, announces that 
excuse me, I got off a little there. That is for my DJ, not for our, um, our minister, excuse me. All right, and then next I have um, the recessional and how they're just gonna come out and then bridal party and <laughs> family photo time. All right, so there's that. And then of course, right behind it, which would be directly after this, what happened what is the family photo list. Um, and this is everyone, like all the photos that we're gonna take with people. This is literally a list of everybody's names and stuff. This was mainly for my photographer, but of course I have two photo, photo wranglers. Um, so that way they make sure that the people who are taking photos with are in the right place in there, right there with us so they know when they need to be taking photos so we're not scrambling to go find people. And um, it doesn't take, like we're trying to do this in a very, very, very timely, fast manner. And this is like one of the easiest way that um, I knew that we were going to be able to accomplish that was to be able to, was to have this list and to make sure that six or seven people had it, which is exactly who has it, including and in, including my photographer. So that's my right side. On my left, we have my wedding day schedule, literally from the beginning of the day, getting ready um, to arriving at the venue, and then it goes into a little bit of the setup, and then we have the touch-ups and photo time. Um, the so the times of when that's going to happen, and then the ceremony. The reception, and then uh, this, it kind of, yeah, the tear, the tear down cleanup, it goes over that. It doesn't give a timeline, of course, for that, but it, when the day ends. So it's literally from the beginning of the day, from when we wake up to when we're, like, we leave the venue and we're done. That is literally this entire thing. It goes over everything. The timeline, the times, what people need to be doing and such. So everyone has this, and they know, and I've gone... The people who need to know know, and I've gone over it with um, the bridal party so they know, but this is so that way they remember and that the certain people that have it will make sure that the other people will stay in line uh, with the time and stuff. And this is the wedding day setup schedule. It's different from the wedding day schedule because this is what we're doing. This is how the venue is going to be set up. So I have my ceremony area where everything goes. This, this is a list that everyone, this is in every single folder. So. I have family and friends helping me set up. I don't have someone, I don't have a company or anyone coming in to set up the day for me. It's literally family and friends and the bridal party is doing this. Or mainly the groomsmen and mainly the groomsmen are setting this up. And then I have a couple other people who are in the wedding party that are helping as well. But so this is literally everything. Like where, where everything goes and what they are. And that all the boxes that I have are all organized and labeled. And then this is the reception over there and then the inside of the reception because this is the outside like the pavilion it says and then the inside of like the manor the house that we're getting married like each room it's detailed in each room where things go voila so that's that and then the last but not least i have in the bottom of my folder these are pictures or snapshots of google pictures that i got of what how my ceremony area is going to be set up this is how it's the aisle supposed to look and this is how the front of the um pergola is supposed to look so this is for reference so they know what it's supposed to look like so they not they don't just have a list of where everything needs to go they have a visual of how it's supposed to look so because i can't be down there to help so that way they know what what i want and then i have the list of the things that go where but yeah so that is everything that is in this folder um, that I have for the wedding, the actual wedding day that a couple of people are going to have so that way we don't run into issues. I highly, highly recommend for, um, every bride, especially if you don't have a wedding day coordinator or you don't have a planner, you don't have a wedding planner. These, this video and this post is mainly for them, I guess, um, because I didn't have a planner and my coordinator is a family friend. So they on it. So it's not what they do for a living. So they don't really know what to do, I guess. Well, they do, but not in a professional manner. Um, so I really high, highly, highly recommend that you have one of these folders, at least for you, or at least an emergency one, and please give one to the person that you plan on um, having coordinate your wedding day. And even if you don't have a wedding coordinator, give it to someone, give it to your, um, your mom or someone that you highly trust. Just give it to someone that you trust, that you know will get what you need done, and they know exactly what they need to do. I, this is has been a really big help to me and a really big stress reliever having this because it kept me it helped me stay sane and organized knowing that other people know exactly what they need to do and it's not just in my brain it's not 
I, it's not that I know that everything needs to get done and what needs to get done, but they also know what needs to get done because I made this for them. So I literally put everything that I had in my head onto the sheets of paper in this folder. So they have that. So that way if something does go wrong, I won't feel bad and I won't feel, I won't feel stressed out about it because I know that they tried their best and I know that they knew what they needed to be doing. So it's not something that I forgot to tell them or I forgot. So I knew. So this is something that is a really, really good idea to have and to use at your wedding. Um, Cause it will, it will save you so much stress and it will keep you sane, I promise you. This is like, I think the most important and happiest things that I have done for that. Now I'm not sure, I don't know exactly how it's gonna work yet because my wedding hasn't happened, but I know that no matter what, I'm gonna feel good about it because I try my hardest and I stayed as organized as I possibly could while planning the wedding, while planning my own wedding. I did it everything myself. Yes, I had help. Of course I had help. I love the people that helped me and I'm truly grateful, but I literally myself planned my entire wedding alone. So I, no matter what, I know that I'm going to be proud of, with how the day turns out because I tried my best. So yeah, that is this folder. And then last but not least, we're going to get into the biggest one, which is my wedding day binder. Like I said before, this binder is or is the most organized. It has um, everything that is typed up and stuff in here. It even has everything that's in this folder in here as well. Um, so it's literally the biggest. It has everything, everything um, accustomed and everything that deals with the wedding in this binder. So when you first open it, of course, we have um, my cover page, which I made. I, li I made this like a week after Brandon and I got got engaged like I literally started doing this and after that we have um, the bridal party which this actually has changed I did not update it for one because I had it updated in the things that I did here which is already in here but this is just like I literally made all these pieces a week after we got engaged so I had no idea what I was doing I was just so excited to be engaged and to be getting married and I wanted to jump in and then this is um, the venue this of course actually is our venue and I put all of the information I needed to know like I kind of um I kind of jumbled up everything that was in our contract and put it here like the main points that I needed to know I put it there and then this is our uh our contract for our venue I'm covering this up because my address is on it but this is the contract for our venue so we signed it and we um like you know what a contract is and then these are measure he also handed this sheet it's the measurements that he has at his venue for the places that we're going to be using and then this is um my minister's contract we have this contract here from our minister and then that's the back of it and then here is i have a list of possible vendors again this is the sheet that i used when i made um a week after we got a week or two after we got engaged these are things that I listed just so I um, would know like hey where do I want to go these are things that I can look at to see if I want and then this is um, again the event that this was given to us by our vendor um, because we we not by, not by a vendor by our venue because we had to use certain we had to choose a DJ off of his list. We couldn't, we could choose our own other stuff, but we had to choose a DJ because the venue is in sort of like a residential area, but he gave us this to help us, which I really liked and I really appreciated because not a lot of places do that and they helped us a lot. Like, it gave us more of a broader perspective of, of what was out there. And then ignore this, we wound up not using this dress, but I wanted to add this in here as a reference um, for what I wanted. <clears throat> And then this was something that me and my cousin jotted down when we were looking, um, we were about to go wedding dress shopping and then I had no idea what I wanted for a cake. And we actually went with Delightful Bites, so we did that one. Um, again, more of the wedding dress stuff. This is the wedding um, questionnaire that I was talking about that I had in my um, small notebook. This is literally the questions that my photographer gave me and I just answered all of them in my other notebook. All right, and then this is my contract for my DJ. Um, that he gave us and then and we signed and we read over it and all that stuff and we have the hours and this is what he also gave us is the guide he actually switched this up this is the one um, it's stapled together so it's more to that in there but this is the one he gave us originally and I printed off and I um, wrote on but this is not the updated one this is um, 
see see look i did this on october 3rd 2019 so this is definitely not the updated one this is just the one that i printed out literally right after we hired him and we signed with him but the one the updated one is um on my phone and i want to print it out but i'm not sure if i'm going to because literally everything that's said on that contract on the the guide sheet is already written down in the folder like the see like the lineup and stuff like that and i don't have to i don't need to have the music in the folders because only he needs to worry about that um no one else needs to worry about the music so there's no need to print that out but i might i don't know just to have it for memory's sake um and then this was the schedule that i had made literally the same month that we got engaged um so of course this is not this is not what we're doing at all well some of it's kind of the same but it's not all like a lot of it has changed i just in the beginning i really wanted to have my mind wrapped around like i wanted to have a really good idea of what i wanted to do and what the timeline was now i've never been to a real per like real put together wedding um so i had no idea what i was doing and what i really needed or wanted or how things went so i really relied on my photographer to help me with that with that timeline because she's done t thousands so she knows exactly what she's doing in hello anastasia and what we need to be doing so i highly i did not realize my camera was zoomed in y'all anyway so i am so grateful for her for helping me with that all right and then wedding guest list i had wrote jot that down at one point that's not typed up at all but that was just to get a head count and a number of who was coming to our wedding so because we can only have a certain amount of people at our venue and i wanted to make sure we didn't send out too many invitations um and then that i need to cross it out those are addresses of some of the people that are coming to our wedding and then why is it not there it goes it was acting all funky and then this is the first meeting that i had with my florist you see february 22nd um and i have this meeting also written down in my small notebook but this is the more organized one that i wrote down and put in this binder um because i wanted it pretty all together i didn't type it up um because i was having issues with my laptop and i kind of still am but uh so i wrote it out really nice and neat so I have that here and then of course I have my wedding hashtag I also have that in my book but I wanted this in my binder as well um, and I made it all nice and neat in here um, that's the bridal shower guest list so I had a head count of that then this is my budget list this is I typed this out um, I don't remember when I typed this out but I think it was um, I think I typed this out during the summer sometime in the summer it was like late summer I typed this out it was my wedding budget so we knew where we were at and what we had spent um, and this was really helpful to keep to help me keep on track of what how much money we had spent how much money we still could spend um, and then I also made a list of where we got it if we could and this doesn't have everything on it because or some things don't have prices on it because I hadn't I hadn't yet bought it yet. Um, and I never wrote it in because I didn't want to mess with the paper. But I do um, have my complete budget. Like, well, it's not complete because we're still getting last minute things. But pretty much it's done. Like the gist of it. We're just buying here and there things. And then this is the same photos that I have in my folder. It just doesn't have the written side on it. But it's of the um, pictures of the ceremony area. And then that's the rest of the che checklist because I actually wrote this out at work and then I came home and I typed it. Um, and then this, of course, is the same thing that's in my folder, the wedding day schedule. And then the wedding day photo list is my emergency packet. As you can see up at the top, it says emergency. And then this is things that I used for my bridal shower. Um, I had to get, I was trying to budget out the bridal shower, which is what I was using this paper for. This isn't organized pretty well. It's just the scratch sheet of paper that I had used it on and I put it in here. I didn't really type it out. And that was the first time I had decided to do the um, guest list. And then these back here, um, I actually, I just used inserts because I didn't want to put it in these because it made it so heavy. But I put all of the, um, these things I got in my Miss to Mrs. box, like guides and things and um, <clears throat> the list of things that came in my boxes. I put all of this stuff back here because I knew that I wanted to keep them. And some of these guides actually came in really helpful when I was planning out this wedding. Um, so I just put this back here because I knew I wanted to keep them. And then this was the first budget that I had wrote right now. I think I wrote this out in um, November or December. And so I just kept this back here because of course I wanted to keep it. Everything that I've done for this wedding, even if it's not organized, it's just scribble scrabble. I want to keep it because it'll, re it'll remind me of this stuff. And then of course this says November. I wrote this out in November. This is when I was starting my budget. 
And there's some more. Oh, that is dresses. Let's not look at that. Um, that's some more budget. And then this right here is the most important thing that we cannot lose. It is um, our wedding, uh, I was about to say wedding day checklist. Uh, this is our um, wedding certificate, our uh, marriage, oh my God, our marriage license. I cannot talk y'all, I'm so tired. This is our marriage license that's in here. So this is extremely important, we cannot lose it. So that is in the back of this binder so I don't and we will have it with us but yeah so that is everything that is in this folder I mean binder all right guys so that was everything that was in my wedding binder um so I just so again recap I went over my binder my that I have used since the beginning of my wedding planning that everything is organized and in which is a really really good thing if you don't have any of the other things that I showed you at least have that one wedding binder that you can keep all the information in um, that you planned even if you do have a wedding planner I suggest keeping one of these for yourself so you are in the dark so you as the bride knows know what is going on and not just leaving everything in the hands of your wedding planner I mean if that's the type of person you are and that's what you want to do and you don't you're like don't care and you just want you know you trust everyone and you know that no matter how the day turns out you're gonna like it and you're gonna love it and it's gonna be the magic best day in the entire world i don't want to answer the call Ugh. sorry about that guys i had a phone call so now we're gonna get back into what i was saying um like i was saying if you don't have the other two notebooks i highly suggest that you at least do one wedding planning binder so you do keep yourself in the loop and you know what's going on for yourself um you can keep up with your budget you can keep up with your bridal party you can keep up with all your vendors you need something to put your contracts in because i'm not familiar with um wedding planners or what they deal with or what um things that they have or paperwork that they keep but um for you i would you would even if they do handle that stuff, I would, I would suggest that you need to keep a copy of all of the contracts anyway for you, just in case something goes wrong or someone says you didn't do this or you didn't pay or blah, 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 or they said that you can't do this, but in the contract it says you can. It's some, yeah, you, you need that because um, you can run into some really big issues like he said, she said stuff and you have that written contract. There's no he said, she said. It's written in stone. Um, but yeah, so... That is everything that I'm going to show you guys as far as my wedding um, planning notebooks and how I stayed organized during this 13 months of my life. And it's been really fun um, being able to do this and being able to share this with y'all has definitely, um, it makes me feel really good knowing that I, I'm able to share my experience with someone else that needs it. Um, now, whoever watches this video, you may not need it. Um, you just came across it because you like wedding stuff but either way it doesn't matter I'm happy that I was able to do it and I can look back on this and say that I'm proud of doing this and um, planning the way that I did and staying organized the way that I did that was my dryer sorry if you heard that but yeah so that is everything all of my notebooks everything that I stay organized with so I'm gonna end this video here it um, is pretty lengthy but I hope you guys stay for the full thing um, but yeah so Bye. See you tomorrow on my next um, wedding week series post.